So it looks like a good day to go for a hike today. I got something to show you. You guys want to come along? Let's get packed up. Today with the walk with the boys, having a good day, doing a little day hike. Just gonna talk about my friend's coffee press. She's from Oregon. Her name is Lisa, and it's called Wood Knot Press. Just gonna take in some of these sights. Just climbed a really big hill. The drop. making one of those videos like everybody else is making. Sometimes it's just to come along with the person on their adventure and just to see the beautiful places that they're at. Sometimes you just kind of get a sense of camaraderie with the person that's out there because they like exactly what you like. But I'm here today, I'm gonna show you one of my friends from Oregon has a new company and she's making titanium French presses. So let's take a look and see what we got. So here we got, so it looks like it came with a really cool lid. Uh, it comes in a little storage bag, that. I like these little storage bags. You can kind of wad these little storage bags up with the string and turn it into a little wash rack. And when you're done, you can rinse that out and put it back on your little stove. So here we are. Wow, that's a very lightweight, nice coffee press there. Titanium, pull that out and apparently i seen on some videos, you can unscrew this like that and you can put like a can of fuel inside there or some other things like your coffee, your 
sugar creamer, whatever you want to cook with. I really like that. Also, you got the uh, handle on the top and a handle for drinking. This little lid, I guess, fits on there. After you get your coffee made, you can drink it right from the cup. I don't let mine sit around too long. I drink mine while it's hot. That is a really nice piece of gear. You wanna see my tripod? My tripod was a stick. So check that out. Super awesome. Send some waste in the water they didn't drink. By the way, this is a cuxa I made. Spalted maple. You can see uh, it's wormy or wormy maple. It's a pretty nice little color. I got my initials in it. That's my little symbol. Stands for my name, a little thing to hang it on your backpack, the carabiner, extra little paracord, just ornate really. I really like this one. As a matter of fact, for my uh, particular titanium French press, I traded um, with her for a really nice Cuxa. When you go to her Instagram, look on her page, you can see it. And uh, her page is really cool. She goes hiking everywhere. She's got some cool dogs and cool friends. I like looking. I hope she does some videos soon. So another thing I like doing when I'm out here is I take lots of photos. I've got an Instagram page too. And uh, I don't have a lot of followers, but the ones that follow me are from all over. I mean, I've got people that are in Japan, China, Oregon, Florida. I met some people uh, while I was camping in North Carolina at the Natahela and um, made friends with them. I actually sold one of my cuxes to him and uh, some spoons. I make some of those hand carved spoons. I might do some videos of that later. I do have pictures on my Instagram page of that. So this is one of my best friends right here. Can you say hi, Tiny? Can you, Tiny, can you say hi? He's a Yorkshire Terrier, and he goes hiking with me all over. I know a lot of you Yorkie people are like, you're not supposed to put collars on them. That's just for his tags. His leash goes on his harness this is my other dog he's a rescue he is also a yorkshire terrier and his name is skinny can you say hey skinny can you say hi can you say hi he's an old man but he still loves to go hiking with his best buddy don't you don't you boy what'd you find tiny what is it what what is it? He likes to catch squirrels. Gizmo, what is it, boy? Huh? Just so you know, today we are hiking at the Tennessee State Parks. It is a little trail that goes around a lake called Tim's Ford. And today the lake is extremely low. As you can see, I'll pan around here just a little bit. You can see how low the lake level is. It's normally all the way up to the wood line. And I love hiking here. I know a lot of people do um, stuff about the equipment that they carry. And uh, soon I'll do a video on this one right here. 
more of Garberg. Yeah. That stuff on it. It's just leather from inside the leather sheath. It's a really thick spine. And a full tang. We might talk about that in an upcoming video. But uh, I just took, after I got my leather done, I wet it and shaped it. So it, it's got good retention. It won't come out. A bit. Some pecans and walnuts. Let's give those a taste. My little boys like to beg for pecans. I don't know. Are you supposed to feed Yorkies nuts? Cause like a little bitty piece. And my little boys are just like, can I have that? That good boy? He seems to like it. I also watched this guy. It's Lumna Acres. And he makes some awesome videos. A lot of it, to me, has to do with the camera. The shots that they're getting. I really like those. I'm like Joe Robinette. From Canada. He shoots some awesome videos too. And I like to watch him. So I don't know. We'll see what we can do. Give me a thumbs up. Leave comments. We'll see about doing some more videos. Maybe showing you some of the area in Tennessee. Like I said right now. We're at Tim's Ford State Park. It's a gorgeous lake you can look that up and uh we'll catch you next time Check my friend out at Woodnot Gear.